So you were in the piston. I mean, you were in the cylinder Uh and the piston was coming towards you or something? I mean, so we're inside the sump tank, which was empty. Usually there's lube oil in there that lubricates the pistons as they go up and down. But we're in the bottom where the pistons would like, you know, where that forms the V. We were in the bottom of the V. Mm. And so when it turns on, it starts slow and then keeps going faster and faster and faster until it goes up to normal speed. So we had you know, we had maybe 30 seconds to get out of there before it started going fast, so fast that it would have crushed us. Wow. <laughs> so uh, he said, get out now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. That's insane. Yeah. And then another time, I'll tell you another one. I was on watch and I was in the front control room and in the back engineering space, the boiler exploded. And the guy who's supposed to be in charge of everything, he actually ran back there to go see the damage (laughs) and he left me in charge. And, you know, I was trying to handle the emergency, you know, call a fire party, go back there. Is everyone okay? Like trying to go through all the emergency steps. Wow. It was really nerve wracking because I was a junior personnel trying to take charge. And some people were giving me lip about like telling them what to do. But I'm like, hey, I'm in the main control. Like you got to listen to me. Yeah. Talk about trial by fire. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, that was a typical day in engineering. (laughs) Another story, they were doing maintenance to change out a filter. And for the pitch control system, the pitch system is what controls whether the shaft pushes the ship forward or back. And it's, you know, a pressurized system with oil. Mm. Well, they forgot to remove the oil from the system. (laughs) So they crack one bolt and it starts to leak a little bit. They crack another bolt and it leaks a little more. And I'm like, hey, you know, I've never done this before, but that's not normal. (laughs) You know, (laughs) should it be leaking right now? And the uh, first class petty officer said, yeah, yeah, you know, it's not a problem. I do this all the time. And he cracked the third one and it started gushing instead of just leaking. And then he cracked the fourth one and it starts popping oil everywhere. I was covered in disgusting oil from head to toe. Wow. And the dude left the space saying, I'm up for promotion. I can't be here right now. And it was me and another petty officer that handled all the emergency procedures, closing it up with burlap so it didn't catch fire. Because imagine, like, here's all this fresh oil, and we're right in between two engines that are running full tilt really, really hot. You know, we're talking like 200 degrees. Oh, they're running. Yeah, the engines were running. Oh, wow. And that's a major casualty because they lost control of steering of the ship <laughs> without pitch control. Wow. So we had to call it from the space, you know, loss of pitch control, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, <laughs> the dude had, like ran upstairs so he could establish an alibi out of the engineering space. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Did he end up getting promoted? <laughs> Oh yeah, he ended up he ended up making chief like the next year. He didn't make it the first year. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, and then another time I actually got hurt from this one. Mm. I was all about wearing what they call PPE, personal protective equipment, and you know people made fun of me. Whatever. There's the old people, you know, probably can't hear anything now that never wore hearing protection while they were right next to the engines and stuff. But anyway, mm. so I went down there to do maintenance on one of my sensors on the boiler. And I had to take it out of the condensate line on the boiler. So you have to shut the boiler down and close valves and stuff. This was early on where I didn't know all the systems and stuff. So I went to one of the senior guys in the space and I was like, hey, you know, here's my tag. Can you tag it out for me? And he's like, all right, wait here. I'll go do it for you. So it comes back in and he seemed to forget about me. And I'm like, hey, did you hang my tag? Is it good to go? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, you're good to go. Good to go. So, (laughs) so I go to do my maintenance, you know, here I am, I've got goggles on, I'm wearing fire retardant coveralls and I got gloves on that'll protect my hands from the heat. Cause we're talking superheated water. Yeah. The condensate line comes out and it's basically steam that condensates back into water. Mm -hmm. So it's 212 degrees, whatever. Yeah. So I go to take my sensor out And this water starts splashing all over my stomach, all over, you know, from basically where my belly button is all the way down to my knees. I was covered in this superheated steam. Wow. Or superheated water. And I went back up and I yelled at the guy. I was like, hey, you didn't hang the tag. (laughs) He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) 
<laughs> wow. I ended up with some pretty bad burns because the water seeped inside the gloves that I was wearing. Mm. And that wasn't pretty. Ouch. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mentioned that my wife enlisted also. Mm. She was an electrician as well. And so, you know, as an electrician, she was working on the switchboard with 440 hertz and stuff like that. Uh And it was supposed to be tagged out. I don't know the whole story, but she told me she was doing maintenance on their inside switchboard and it energized and she got shocked because somebody did something wrong. And then, you know, switching from uh, ship power to shore power, somebody flipped it the wrong way. So the ship (sighs) was actually sending power to the shore and something blew up in her face. Wow. Let's see. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I guess they'll teach you an infosec to, you know, make sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed, right? Oh, definitely. Definitely. (laughs) I took away from, especially where I got burned, was learn everything. If you got to do maintenance on something, don't trust other people that they're going to do what you need them to do. You learn it. And you know, if you do need to do it, you know, if you know people and you trust people, yeah, sure. Trust, but verify, right. You know, don't tell them, you know, like in future situations, I'd be like, Hey, can you hang this tag for me? Okay. Thank you very much. And then when I went back out there, I would still go check to make sure that the tag was hung and that it was hung properly. Because still, as an electrician, I wasn't supposed to tag out, you know, mechanical stuff or the engines or whatever. I still had to rely on them to do it. Mm. But I would go back and verify that it was done properly. Wow. Well, it's good to hear that you're alive. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how sometimes. Yeah. Really interesting stories. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 